good morning and welcome back to the channel um so this one is a bit of a strange one in the fact it's taken a year to complete this this video and complete the walk even if you're following our instagram to our travelers last year you would have seen that myself my brother owen and darren um we planned on doing a three-day hike around the gower uh with a wild camp down in flangeneth and then we got the first two days done which were amazing really nice weather like this um, but we didn't actually get to complete the third day we had some personal reasons come up we had to call it at oxwich bay so today is exactly a year to the day that we were planning on doing oxwich bay to mumbles um, about 12 miles so i thought good chance to come down and finish the walk so it's just me but i thought i'd bring you along um we did i did do a little bit of filming last year on the first two days um, it was before I really started so I haven't even looked at the footage I don't know what it's going to be like but um, but yeah I thought I'll come down finish the walk and finish the video as well so it's taken a year to do this last 12 miles <laughs> theory um, but what I'll do is have a little wander along the beach beer and just get going I'm gonna cut to day one and day two I say I haven't looked at the footage so I don't know what it's going to be like I know there's a really good time lapse in there and that's all I know. Um, so yep, I'll put something together, have a enjoy day one and day two, and I'll pick up you in a bit when we're on a little bit further. Welcome to the Gower Coast. So that was 2021, that was the 7th and 8th of July last year, um, yeah you can see we had a lovely walk, I put the route up as well so you can see what we did, but back to today, July 9th 2022, one year later, <laughs> so yeah we wanted to finish this and I'm going to come back and do it myself, so a bit about today, we're um, just coming up to three clips, well we're in three clips today, you can see them by there. Um, yeah, we're about three miles in. We've done Oxwich into Three Cliffs, and then I think I think I'm right in saying this into Posty, Caswell, Langland, and then Mumbles. So a lot of up and down. Um, 
coastal walk today, so it's, a, it's an amazing day, it's fab. The weather's lovely and the views are spectacular. Um, you know, the old castle and fort ruins up on the hill. And yeah, this kind of thing you, you get all the way along this kind of route. It's just really, really nice scenery. It's a typical kind of coastal, coastal walk. So, um, yeah. Uh, life lesson, big, big tip. If you're going to uh, clean your hydration bladder, so with say Milton or bleach or tablets, whatever you want, um, really clean it out properly first, because this tastes disgusting. I think I've left a bit of the fluid cleaning stuff in there and it's coming through and it's, it's not tasting too good. So I'm gonna try and refill that at some point if I can. But yeah, if you're gonna clean it, make sure you do it damn good job cleaning it because it's not nice especially on a day like today forecast to be in the 20s so it's gonna be quite warm and yeah it's not very nice to drink odd tasting bleachy water <laughs> probably gonna give myself poisoning throughout the day but we'll see right well, i think i'm gonna head up i'm gonna head up the sticking along the bars coastal path and uh, carry on i think it might actually be that way but I'm gonna go find a sign. Uh, so we are 4.7, oh, just, just show 4.7 miles in. Um, still see Oxwich, which is alarming. It's just, it's in the distance over there. <laughs> Doesn't feel like I've gone anywhere. But uh, yeah, we are, so we, I'm just, just plodding along really. Um, water update, I decided to stop and move water into this. So it's my water to go bottle. It's got a filter in the top. Um, I'm not saying it'll filter everything, but it's certainly taken the certainly taking some of the taste out at least, so it doesn't taste of bleach anymore, which is nice. So I'm going to try and stop when I see a shop and uh, buy a big bottle of water or something, just to be on the safe side. I really don't want to poison myself today, but but no, it's it's such a fab day. It, it's the weather's really similar to what we had last year. Um, I think it was like mid to high twenties last year, and it was just so so hot. We got so through so much water that day, but yeah, so weather's really good today. It's a little bit breezy, so I'm gonna look for spots to put the drone up where I can and to get some nice arty shots. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely walk so far. The view is, is spectacular, I think you'll agree. So yeah, just thought I'd have a quick little sit down, quick little break, and uh, enjoy the view for a sec. But yeah, we're about just over a third of the way in for today and we've been going for about coming up on two hours which is not too bad um yeah i've been a bit slower i think because a lot of it's been along the beach and on sand and i just hate walking on sand it just takes it all out of you so hoping the rest of it is going to be a bit more like this it's going to be a bit more uh grassy coastal pathy kind of thing so yes this is proving to be quite a nice one today so anyway we'll pick up in a bit i'm going to start this up here for two minutes and then get going and see what else we see. So I was thinking that I was going to stop down in Pusley Bay, which is just down in front of me. Um, just have a can of cork and a bit of a, a, bit of a sit down. But I just got to Pusley Head, and this is my view. I mean, 
Wow. You guys got a lot to offer, but that is something special. You got Pukti Bay here, then it goes to Caswell, since the Langland, and then round the head is, is Mumbles. But oh, that was just awesome. On a day like today, where else would you want to be? Seriously, like, yeah, where else would you want to be? in and we're at Caswell Beach so it's been around it's pretty busy today obviously um, I think it's probably the the one beach in Gawa that everyone comes to with us in Potheina maybe um, but yeah what a day it's absolutely baking so I thought I took myself away in the shade I got my cheese roll so it's gonna stop for a bite to eat um, can of coke I think as well and yeah and then just head off so and sit here for a little bit a bit of a rest and uh, yeah we'll, we'll start to move on I think we've only got Langland Bay and then round to Mumbles to go so it's only about three and a half ish four miles approximately um, to go so it's probably no time at all it's been a good walk um, it's, it's a lovely it's a lovely route I mean the course is just something special the, the Welsh course I think is, is my favorite walking route in Wales definitely it's it's just lovely there's, there's so much to see and it's such a variety of walks but it's fab. So yeah, that's a beer, a bite to eat, um, and then get going a little bit, I think. So we've just come from Caswell, just coming around to Langland Bay. It's about a mile and a quarter, so it's not a, not a bad little walk, and it's, um, it's all concrete path, so it's nice and easy. There's some steps. A little bit of a climb, but nothing, nothing too strenuous. Um, it's a lovely beach, it really is. You can see that's quite full because it's quite busy. I think it's most famous for the line of hats. I'll film that as I go past, but um, but it's a it's a gorgeous place. There's loads of benches all the way up, and just just up from where I come from, there's a mass of benches right on the head, um, right at the right at the top, and it's. Uh, some cracking views up there so yeah it's, it's, it's a nice little walk even if you just came down to the portal path and just did Langland to Caswell and back it's still three miles it's still a decent little walk and you get some lovely views so these are some of the beach huts I was saying about they're all the way along the front as you can see all the way down I thought I'd just dive in here quickly show you these ones quickly because there's no one around and I don't want to film all the way down there because there's people and I don't want to invade people's privacy but it's really famous and it's really well known for this line of beach huts really retro I love them That's it, that's Langslip Bay, and then, oh, Langslip Beach, and then Bracelet Bay, um, otherwise known as Mumbles. So that's 12 miles that it took a year to complete. <laughs> so we started off 7th and 8th of July last year, finished off today, which is really good because I was a bit miffed last year. I don't know we had good reason we couldn't finish, but yeah, I was glad we came back, got a nice weather, finished the walk, really nice. I gotta say, the entire loop from Gowerton to, to here, really good. Um, it's got a bit of everything, it's just got a really good mix of paths, really good scenery. If you wanted to go from here to Caswell, it's only a few miles, nice, easy, flat, well not flat, but 
nice easy path all the way along definitely recommend that and yeah it's just that's what Gower's got to offer it's, it's got everything um the place we wild camped on day one was just gorgeous just overlooking Bury Holmes and Worms Head but if you are going to do that please use the usual methods of leave no trace pitch early and or pitch late leave early and enjoy it but yeah we're going to sign off there um thank you all for watching if you got this far it really means a lot that people are watching these and hopefully it's inspiring people to get out and about and giving you some idea of where to go um keep an eye on the instagram channel two welsh travelers because we've got some cool things coming up keep an eye on this one don't know what we're going to do yet or next but we'll figure something out we've got some wild gams or some camping we want to get perhaps get planned in but yeah thanks for coming along um took a year to finish it but we got there in the end but um yeah thanks again we'll see you on the next one